Cabelli Funds portfolio manager Tony Bancroft joins us now on set. He runs their commercial aerospace and defense ETF and is fresh off of a conference, a symposium focused on aerospace and defense yesterday as well. Key takeaways from that symposium and from what you're hearing from companies and, and CEOs at this key moment in time. Yes, flying is fabulous and uh, defense is in demand. And uh, we, we see a lot more of the same of, of uh, spending in defense, and we see a lot of, uh, we see a lot of uh, flying uh, continuing. Um, uh, just for, for example, um, uh, you know, Bo Boeing and uh, uh, Airbus both expect about 40,000 aircraft uh, to be built over the next 20 years. And on the defense, fi defense side, uh, spending, you know, spending continues. Um, if, if you were to, uh, if, if the uh, NATO, uh, NATO members were to spend at 2% uh, of GDP, that would be about $80 billion of annual spending increase. That's mm. about a 7% increase. So, um, uh, you know, we're in a good spot. It's, about a, it's a Goldilocks scenario is what I'd call it. Uh, there, there is some issues with um, uh, the supply chain and labor tightness, but uh, overall um, it, it looks pretty strong. We've seen a little bit of a bifurcation this year in terms of stock performance, though. The more pure play defense names have fallen or underperformed, and the ones that are more skewed to commercial, to your point, and the recovery um, have really outperformed. So, so how are you thinking about that, especially since you do manage this ETF? How are you thinking about that in terms of investing right now? You know, I, I think overall, uh, um, you know, we sort of, we're, we're bottom-up stock pickers, and uh, uh, how our companies are positioned, uh, they're in the supply chain. They're sort of usually tier one, tier two suppliers. And, um, you know, there's a great amount of demand. They're, they're, they're building at uh, as at high rates as they can. Um, they continue to get new contracts. And um, we're seeing strong, uh, strong spending. So uh, overall, I, I, I think we're pretty well balanced in our, in our portfolio. If we get a government shutdown within 12 months of an election, um, and if defense stocks get hit, is that anything but a buying opportunity? Because, I mean, does anybody really think that Washington's going to stay shut down for an extended period of time with all the blame that would move around? Yeah, I, I don't, I think in the long, in the, on the run, on the long term, defense, uh, a government shutdown doesn't really do, do too much to defense spending. I'd say maybe for some new, new contracts or new programs. Uh, obviously, that's going to have an impact in the near term. But, but you know, uh, on the other side of that token, you, you, uh, the the suppliers that that do the aftermarket the aftermarket business, you actually uh, you know you get these sustainment contracts that have to keep going. So those sustainment contracts run longer. So it actually benefits uh, some companies in some ways. And uh, you know, eventually, I think it all it does work out. You know, the world's not getting any safer. And I think uh, I think the defense spending and, and uh, you know is probably going to increase um, you know going forward.